if you really prepare the presentation so good that your audience whoever maybe it's your manager project manager people uh, your your colleagues if they get blown away by your presentation okay you will make a name for yourself hello and welcome everyone if you are new to this channel then my name is amit patel and uh, you are watching musings with software engineers if you are new then uh, subscribe to this channel because on this channel i share ideas inside tools and tactics so if you want to grow uh, really fast in the software industry then subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you do not miss any updates so hi shruti okay in our company they are pressuring me to learn new technology json can you please tell me how should i prepare for it and how should i present it either through ppt or orally which is the best uh, one to approach so shruti first thing you understand uh, json is nothing but a javascript object notation correct it's a javascript object notation okay and what it is used it is used to define the data which is then transferred between your database uh, into your application to the memory and to the cloud so to to transfer the data from one place to another place okay you use this notation so for example i have a list of customers okay and for each customers i have some different different uh, uh, attributes of the customers right in the database we are we are having a table in which we have columns which are the attributes of that particular uh, table and uh, we have the rows which is the transactional uh, value of that particular table correct so in javascript object notation we are doing nothing but we are representing this data in the code itself okay in the memory itself so that we can we can move the data around we can do whatever we want to do with the data if you want to change the data update the data whatever we want to do okay that is the use of this okay in reality it is not difficult to learn javascript object notation i cannot tell you whether you should prepare for it and uh, present it through ppt or orally that will depend on how does your company do all the presentations usually in most corporate companies they will use a powerpoint presentation and they will do whatever uh, because it will be easier for you to show and talk about what this javascript uh, object notation is all about okay you can show this but i would suggest that instead of just showing this notation you think of a proper example okay and you take an example and if you are if you are not in a project if you are in a project then it is better to take an example of the project but if you are not in the project you can take example of some online product which is there for example uh, netflix uses javascript object notation okay so when netflix passes on the data uh, so so whatever like when you open netflix you will see if you are a user of netflix if you are uh, a logged in user subscribed user you will see that uh, automatically the movies uh, will show up on the screen and those movies are shown up based on what kind of movies are you watching what are the new movies which have been released and all those different things okay but after doing all these calculation the netflix servers have to send this data to your browser so when you query something okay on your browser this browser is going to go and fetch all these data for you to show on the screen and it is in this javascript object notation and when it comes back on the browser side on the browser side it will be processed to show you the kind of uh, whatever screen that you see in front of you okay so the reason for using json is that it is lightweight it does not have any kind of overheads and it can be easily passed from one place to another place on any bandwidth even even little bit of bandwidth it can be passed easily that was the reason for using J json uh, p format okay so how do you uh, do the presentation you always do the presentation as per your company norms what does your company do okay and um, if you really want to uh, give a good presentation 
then start with a problem start with uh, think about uh, you know uh, easiest thing to do is to watch a few of the best ted talks okay watch a few of the best ted talks and see how they do the opening of their talk and how do they progress within the talk okay and i understand this is a very technical uh, presentation but just imagine if you really prepare the presentation so good that your audience whoever maybe it's your manager project manager people uh, your your colleagues if they get blown away by your presentation okay you will make a name for yourself okay so the more preparation you do for this presentation so watch at least 3 to 4 ted talks and think about a kind of a structure for your presentation and start with a problem and start explaining the entire gsnp uh, format using a problem and a solution approach okay so you explain the problem you say this is what this helps us to do this is how we are going to uh, use it this is what is gsnp why it is used everything but you uh, it it's as if somebody is watching a ted talk okay and to get an inspiration watch three four ted talks to get an inspiration and structure your talk and then practice practice really well practice so well that people will think that you are a born speaker okay um, uh, the first time i was called for a speaking which was in 2017 uh, one startup forum called me to speak on the subject uh, how to become an entrepreneur no the subject was product uh how to build a good product okay that was the subject okay and uh, i had prepared a presentation on five steps to building a good product okay and that that is also there on youtube somewhere they have put it on youtube it was my first presentation but i didn't use any powerpoint or anything it was a forum so i was just speaking but i structured and i practiced like three days four days i was practicing everything i was not by hearting i had only points i had prepared a point list and i was i had decided what to talk about okay and when you are using slides only use few words don't use lot of words on slides you don't want people to be reading all those things you would be saying okay the slide should only be there for things which you can explain better with pictures rather than with words like if you want to see show the jsnp notation it will be easier to show on a slide then you talk about it right but don't put your entire paragraphs which you are going to read never read anything okay so i i hope that that uh, you prepare really well for this presentation see uh, this is for everybody who is a fresher and this is for everybody who is in a company every small opportunity you get start sit down and think how can i make this opportunity uh, the best opportunity for me okay it can be a small presentation you have to give it may be something to solve a, a coding problem it may be something to help a colleague of yours it may be something to help your project manager to build a report any there can be any number of things that will come in your uh, work day okay and you should think about how can i use this opportunity to showcase my skills and every opportunity when you start thinking like that then automatically you will see really good opportunities come your way because if you uh, if you if you really do a good presentation uh, you know speaking is a very difficult thing uh, to do in front of an audience so when you speak in front of an audience and when you do it really well okay and you can do it well when you practice and prepare for that presentation then what is going to happen is then uh, you're going to make a mark in your company okay you, you will see the results of that which will be beyond your expectations okay shruti aki uh, thanks a lot sir it you enhance my energy tomorrow i'm having a presentation you are welcome shruti uh, practice it even if it is tomorrow practice it practice it really well okay uh, practice it at least 3 times for your presentation okay and try to keep your presentation short so that it is good 
and and people are engaged for they don't don't make it long make it uh, 18 to 20 minutes that's it okay but give it such powerful presentation that people are really amazed okay so best of luck best wishes to you let me know in the next live how did your presentation go so subscribe to this channel before you go like this video if you have liked what i have discussed so far in the video okay share this video with your friends so that we can grow as much as possible uh, thank you very much stay focused stay rich and see you in the next live